Benedict's test. By the end of this exercise, the students should be able to distinguish between reducing and non-reducing sugars using the Benedict's test, outline the process, and also write a well-balanced reaction equation for the test. Benedict's test is a test for reducing sugars. Heating a mixture of Benedict's reagent and a reducing sugar such as glucose leads to the reduction of the cupric ions in Benedict's reagent to cuprous ions with the formation of copper 1 oxide seen as a yellow to red precipitate in the mixture. The materials used in this test procedure are maltose, glycine, Benedict's qualitative reagent, glucose. You may also need a pipette, test tubes, and a measuring cylinder. Pipette one mil of each test solution into labeled test tubes. Add 5 ml of Benedict's qualitative reagent. Place all the test tubes containing the mixture in boiling water and heat for 3 minutes. Cool and observe. Glucose, a reducing sugar. Maltose, a reducing sugar. Glycine, a non-sugar. On prolonged heating, maltose would hydrolyze into glucose to yield a positive result.